in the tapestry of our illustrious empire. No people are more shrouded in mystery, more steeped in nautical mystique, nor more beguiling than the Narsilla of Anturias. For as long as humanity has dwelled along the sinuous expanse of the Ohio River, tales of tentacled phantasms have drifted through the fog, whispering into the dreams of unsuspecting landwalkers. These spectral beings were long relegated to the realm of drunken riverboat lore and fishermen's fables, until the lifting of the veil revealed their true existence. One cannot forget the notorious case of 1853, chronicled with breathless intrigue by the Queensgate Observer. Captain Ezekiel Beaumont and his intrepid crew aboard the riverboat embassy encountered such a being on a night cloaked in fog, a celestial melody ethereal and haunting permeated their minds lulling them into a trance that lasted for agonizing hours. When dawn's light unveiled the mist, it revealed a chilling discovery. The young deckhand, Tobias Wilkins, had vanished into the maw of the unknown. Yet perhaps the most poignant and disturbing tale entwined with the Nostilla is that of Alvis Calhoun. This hapless soul fell under the beguiling sway of a female Narcilla, now known to us as Theodosia. Their union bore fruit in the form of Lily, a hybrid child of human and Narcilla blood. Tragedy, however, was their constant companion. Both Lily and Alvis would meet their untimely ends during the wailing night, their fates sealed by the inexorable pool of their entwined destinies. We glean what knowledge we possess of the Narsilla from the testament of one Gilthalian of Anturias, a fierce and proud Narsilla warrior, ensnared and bound during the Narsilla's first known brutal assault upon Queensgate in 1866. This grievous onslaught set the stage for an interrogation steeped in profound insights into the Narsillan mind. We learn that the Nasilla, while commonly appearing half-human and half-cephalopod, are merely an illusion. They are gifted with a powerful psychodynamic mind, harnessing unparalleled powers of mesmerism, while also employing a magical ability to create and control fog near water. Nasillan mesmerism allows them to appear to shapeshift and manipulate the minds of potentially hundreds if not thousands of souls within 500 meters. With the surprising exception of Cyclops and Satyrs, who also harness their own mesmerist abilities, the Narsilla often manifest themselves to other species as a relatable counterpart, a ploy so meticulously executed that it draws their unsuspecting prey into a trance. In this state of bewitchment, the Narsilla seizes control, sometimes maintaining their dominance for hours, savoring each moment of their power. As relayed by Gilthalian, their kind was once devoid of emotion, existing in a cold, detached state. This stoic existence persisted until the fateful encounter between Theodosia and Alvis Calhoun. Theodosia's seduction of the human Alvis awakened within the Narsilla an awareness of emotions, love, passion, and most disturbingly, obsession. This awakening, this infusion of raw, uncharted feeling, proved to be their undoing. For that moment, the once impenetrable Narsilla were besieged by emotions. Their rational minds nearly crippled by the intensity of these new sensations. The attack on Queensgate, a once unthinkable act, was an unfortunate manifestation of the curse of hatred, a dark emotion that had seeped into their collective psyche and taken root, corrupting them from within. This curse has spread like a shadow over the Nasillan population, sowing discord 
and chaos. Despite our earnest attempts to aid them in mastering these newfound emotions, our offers have been met with vehement denial. The Nocilla, in their pride and despair, regret the day they became known to us, their secrets and vulnerabilities laid bare. They mourn the loss of their once emotionless serenity, now forever tainted by the intoxicating and destructive forces of human passion. Biologically, the Nocilla bear a disquieting resemblance to the predatory mollusk of the class Cephalopoda, such as the octopus or squid. Their true form, glimpsed by a rare and unfortunate few, defies description. Monstrous and hideous beyond mortal comprehension. Accounts often speak of a single enormous eye, dominating their amorphous bodies, an eye that seems to pierce through the veil of sanity. Through their mesmeric abilities, these creatures can alter their appearance at will, presenting themselves as diminutive as a child or as colossal as a kraken. Yet it is generally believed that their true size mirrors that of an average adult human. The mysteries surrounding Anturias, the city of the Nocilla, are profound. Euthalian described a pathway, a portal, secreted within a small cavern at the bottom of the Ohio River. This portal leads to a vast submerged city nestled within a subterranean ocean, an ethereal domain where light and time are distorted. Despite numerous legends, not a single land dweller has ever set foot in the fabled city of Antorius. The way is sealed, forbidden to our kind, leaving Antorius to linger quietly in the shadowy realm of myth and legend. Hey, this is the artist and writer behind Doc Gallahan. I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to experience this episode. If you find my world building project interesting, let me know in the comments and consider subscribing. You can also support this project on Patreon, where as a member, you can get a subscription to the Queensgate Observer, where I'm telling the story of Queensgate through 13 issues. I do hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Take care.